Thank you for watching. If you like my content, I would love for you to support my Patreon page. Starting as low as $3 per month, you can contribute to my media. Contributions allow me to upgrade equipment and more time to dedicate to bring you up-to-date videos and merchandise. Click the link below in the description to get started today. And again, thank you so much for supporting me all these years. I am that dude so pit and what's crackin'. General on deck, so salute me, Captain. Never mind the hottest on the radio, suck in case the dombas on the beat. I'm a bad mother. <laughs> I rock the mics when I step on stage. Still that nigga leave the crowd in the days. They look at me, I can tell they amazed. The ones that get out do me are the ones that hate. I move the crowd like someone spray mace. Put me on blast, I'm heading straight to your face like what? I thought so. You don't know I spit that hard geometry, that's why I'm beast mode. When you lose somebody that's close to you, you know, it always hurts, you know what I'm saying? And um, even if you didn't know them, sometimes you just feel attached to them. I grew up in the era of TV where TV was our relief. Whatever was going on in the world, we watched TV. It just has a sigh of relief, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you had a bad job or... If you had a bad day at job, your job, or if you had a bad day at school, and you know the weekend came, and you know you sit in front of your TV and turn it on NBC, and you watch a good show like The Golden Girls. So I don't watch The Golden Girls. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm a, I'm a heterosexual male. I watch Golden Girls. I love it. I got the box set in my living room. I. I'm heartbroken that Betty White passed away. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not okay. I'm not just sad. I'm not just gonna sit here depressed and eat fucking sweets all day and nothing like that. I'm just. I my heroes are passing away and it's not cool. And I don't know why we don't know the cause of them. I'm pretty sure it was old age. It didn't it doesn't help that there's a pandemic out there. It doesn't help that you know we got to protect all of our elders as much as possible. But looking back at it, you know, Betty White's had a very incredible career, you know. Um, I just watched Bringing Down the House the other day. I really enjoyed that movie. Every The whole cast is dope, but Betty White's always cracked me up. Um, everything she's ever been in, every TV show, every movie, she's always lifted the whole overall quality of the whatever you were watching. She go on talk shows and how you cracking up laughing, and you would you wouldn't think that she was that old, but Betty White was ninety nine years old and was still active. You know she was still doing her thing. She was they were actually getting ready to celebrate her hundredth birthday in January, and that would have been awesome just to see. You know, but I guess God had a, yeah God had other plans. God was like, nah, I need her for my stage play up here. And that's fine. I've recorded this like two or three times. I thought it would be easy. I thought I'd just give y'all a quick rundown on Betty White. I thought I'd be like, ah, Betty White died, blah, 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 you know. But I started really thinking about it. And, you know, she was a part of my life, you know. Even though I didn't know her personally, you know, she was a part of my life. And just, I was just thinking about this the other day. I was actually thinking about it the other day. Um, I don't know what I was watching. I, I think I was watching one of her interviews on TV, and I was just thinking, man, Betty White, man, she's about to be a hundred. Man, what if she lives to be like a hundred and twenty or something like that? And I, 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 you know, I was getting high hopes, like, man, this is this would be incredible. I don't see anybody have. I don't know anybody has had an issue with this woman. I don't know anybody that's had any type of regret from her. No type of. Oh, uh, any type of the slick shit. She just, but she just she comes off as a very, very nice woman, even in real life. You know, a sweet woman. So, my thoughts and prayers are to her family. My thoughts and prayers are to um, her staff and everybody that's worked with her. I know that a lot of people that are hurting. Somebody go check on Ryan Reynolds, please. Go check on him. Make sure he's all right. <laughs> but 
And not just because it's Betty White. This is just, you know, we're people, we're in a global pandemic. Go check on your loved ones. Go check on your grandma and your grandpa. Because some of us don't have grandma and grandpas. Check on your people. Tell them you love them. Take them some soup or something. My grandpa used to love barbecue ribs. I remember before he died, I actually took him with some ribs. Just so I could chop it up with him. You know, took him some barbecue ribs and some potato salad. And we would just sit there and just talk and we'd just eat and just... He tell me about you know him going off to the war in Vietnam and you know and just his he loved the military so and he died like a month or so later and I remember he actually gave me he loaned well he it was a loan but he he used to always be on my head about when I would borrow money from him so he gave me like a two hundred dollar loan I just got back in town. I told him I need to borrow some money. He gave me two hundred dollars. He was like, "Cool." I was like, "Cool." So I appreciate it. And like normally, he's calling me the next week. You got my money? And he didn't. And then he died like a month later. So I think he knew. So, but that's beside the point. Like I said, look, call people, call your people, check on your people, tell them you love them. You know, it's not hard. Rest in peace to Betty White. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is pure. You're a pal and a confidant. Say hi to B. Arthur and the rest of the cast with me. They're, about, they're having a Golden Girls reunion in heaven. And I bet you that show is probably on fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for everything. My heart to condolences goes out to her entire family. Peace out.